Welcome back to Once Upon a Game, I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode we're going to be unboxing GMT's Ancient Civilizations of the Inner Sea. It's by Christopher Vorder Bruege and Mark McLaughlin. The developer was Fred Schachter. It's a solo multiplayer game, solo bots in it I believe, uh, about ancient civilizations of the inner sea. So let's take a look inside. It's a big thicker box, one of the three inch boxes, so there's probably a lot of, a lot of goodness in here. And we will find out. Right, beautiful artwork on the cover. I'm not sure if that's original or um, like some of the uh, coin games, if that's a reproduction of a uh, art piece. I'm sure it says somewhere in there. All right, so what we got inside here? Well, we have, due to miscommunication during production, the brown discs noted in the rule book are actually light blue. When you see brown discs, or read about brown discs, think light blue instead. So there you go. All right, so we have our rule book, thick rule book. Yeah, actually, it's not too thick. I was picking up the playbook at the same time there. So it's the uh, standard GMT uh, matte paper, full color though. And clocks in at like 24 pages, 28, 24. Okay, so very short rules, which is good. Of course, there may be a lot of variation in the uh, in the scenarios. So then we have the playbook. The playbook is much thicker, right in the 60 page range. <laughs> Look at me, 60 pages, pretty awesome. Not me, but I got it right though. Anyway, uh, so the playbook. Also full color, and it would appear, this is the section for solitaire rules, um, uh, how to play the scenarios, um, and then the different scenarios here, let's see if we can find one here, it tells you how to play one, and then, looks like, yeah, so the Punic Wars is a two civilization and it tells you how to set it up. So there's a lot of variety in this, which will be very, very interesting. Um, as, you, as you go through time here. And there's four civs, side ups, three civs, two civs, various. All right. And we have stickers. There are seven blocks in the game. And these are the stickers for the blocks, kind of like uh, in Churchill. I mean, I know they have other block games, but, uh, you know, more markers, things like that, not the actual game pieces, so. All right, we have cardstock civilization displays. And there are a handful of those. Uh, let's see, we got one. Mycenae, Phoenicia, Rome, Troy, Carthage. Carthage, Celt Iberia, Celt Iberia, I guess is the proper way to say it, Egypt, Gaul, Mauritania, and Minos, so I can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. We have ten civilization cards. That's ten! Uh, 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 uh. We have a sequence of play reference card, which is single side or double sided, single card. A little more glossy than the rule book, obviously. And we got a couple of those, probably a handful, one for each player. So there's five, six. All right, six of those duplicates. The Solitaire Play Aid will guide us solo players through how to play the game. And then we've got map boards. There are two. I believe it's said on the back. We'll open those in a minute here. Uh, a bunch of wooden discs. You see the got color discs, player discs. Um, they're embossed, like the coin games are, there's stars, um, obviously stickers are going to go on seven of these, I assume, 
I don't see any blocks other than these actual square blocks, so they must go in there in some way, shape, or form. Big bag of wood. It's a heavy, heavy game there. And we've got Wonder Deck and a Fate Deck of cards. Like the standard GMT um, card decks. So you're going to get the two card decks. It is two separate boards. So we will open one here. Yeah, they are not double sided. So there's one of the map boards there. And the second map board is here. And you know what? Since they may actually go together, in fact, they do. So that's going to take up a lot of table space because there we get. These two areas go side by side here. So you end up with one long, long and uh, narrow map. You can see Italy here. So uh, you, uh, what gave it away was that there's a, a victory point track on one and the turn order on the other. So, um, and of course the, I guess the black border here. There's no black border on this side of the map, so it's not two distinct maps. It's one big map that puts together in two boards, kind of like uh, um, Civil War did. Um, a little smaller than Civil War, but still, and kind of long. So, anyway, if you pick up Ancient Civilizations of the Inner Sea, two decks of cards, a big bag of wood, and two map boards, a solo player aid. Uh, let's see, was it one, two, three, four, five, six sequence of play charts for up to six players, ten civilization trackers, um, the uh, sticker sheet to put on the blocks, a 60 page playbook, and a 24 page rule book, and a note reminding you that uh, brown is light blue. So, brown is the new light blue. That is what comes in Ancient Civilizations of the Inner Sea from GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!